What's going on, YouTube? Subbum Saint bringing you another review. Ain't you excited? But anyways, before I get down to the review, I wanted to kind of discuss with you guys about my channel. I wanted to upload a little bit every weekend. Yeah, that's okay. Just because it's hard for me to do it during the week because I do work. I do have a job. <laughs> I, I work night shift at a factory, so by the time I get home, I just want to sleep, and when I wake up, I just want to eat. So, <laughs> anyways, it'll be a little easier for me to upload on the weekends and bring better quality videos, hence the editing and all that good stuff, and making it just an overall better video. So, yeah, that's that. So, without further ado, let's talk about this little dual sx mod right here now this is a box mod made out of the uk by a company called signature tips aka signature mods this is their first mod so i mean their website is signature tips i will leave a link in the description for you guys but you <laughs> you will need your vape budget hands on this one because i mean it, it'll eat a hole in your pocket I'm not even gonna lie it is about 189.99 euros which is $294 in the US after shipping is about $325 but they do have two-day shipping so smile anyways it does have the exact same chip as this little booger the SX mini it does have the SX 350J chip but the best thing about it is it houses dual 18650s yeah yeah hence the name dual sx yeah <laughs> you see what they did there anyways the m class has 60 watts which of course you can upgrade but you need like a battery extender thing i'll show you guys a picture of it it's just oh man it's awful looking this mod will do 150 watts so yeah big fan of the sx 350j chip um i did get my sx mini and ever since i've gotten it I, i've actually loved it it's been my go-to i've recommended it to multiple friends i've even had like two or three people buy one just because i had one and i gotta admit i, I absolutely love the chip so as soon as i seen that they had a one with dual batteries i had to hop on it i mean uh, that's my go-to chip for right now and you can get this thing in like eight collars I got mine in black just because I didn't like the collar options they had at that moment um they didn't have orange I wanted orange but they didn't they didn't have it when I bought it so I got black plus I'm a picky picky matchy matchy person now everything about this mod was custom made it is made out of billet aluminum from the inside to the outside it is all custom made it is not an already made box it is just strictly their own mod so without me blabbing and talking more about it I say we dive down take a look at the packaging and take a look at this mod and you guys can decide whether you want deep enough pockets to buy this mod so without further ado let's dive down and get close to the nitty and gritty peeps All right, guys, here we are. Comes in this nice laser engraved wood box. Mine don't line up. Mine's a little crooked. Nice little jewelry thing there. Just scan that. <laughs> All right. Got a nice billet aluminum back thing here. Right there, it says Signature Mod. Dual SX by Signature Mods and the serial number here lies the dual sx nice in its nice conformed little bedding nice and cushiony so let's set this to the side show you guys the nitty and the gritty of it check it out yeah nice finger grooves not sure what kind of 510 that is i'm thinking it's a fat daddy but i'm not gonna swear by it I have not had any problems with any of my RDAs, any of my tanks, anything connecting with it. Plus, you ain't got to worry about it scratching up your mod. That's a, that's always a plus. I don't see why more companies don't use this. It's got like a nice beaded kind of paint feel to it. Kind of gritty. 
you know, you got your fire button, your up down button. That is for your, your upgrading. I'm not sure. I don't think it's for charging. I would never recommend charging on any device anyways. But this is for upgrades. It's beautifully machined. Now you do have a little lip down there at the bottom to grip on but you know I don't have no fingernail so I just grip on the whole thing nice nice Jedi sled up in there everything from the buttons to the internals is all custom made can see a little bit of the guts there I don't know if that'll bother any of you guys but I mean personally it doesn't bother me think it looks very clean very good you got your positive and your negative marked here nice little battery ribbon now let me throw in some batteries here Alright, let me show you guys the menu system here. See if I can get her to focus a little better. There we go. If you're familiar with this chip, this will be really similar, real familiar to all of you. It does have a standard mode, soft mode, eco mode, powerful plus mode powerful mode yeah now in order it's got five presets which is always always good it's nice to have that in order to change it you just push that adjust it blah 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 now get into the menu link that's for when you do updates you can just change the display to left right auto power mode dual mode sensor I'm not totally sure what that's for I guess that's for whenever you use the gravity thing to where you can change yeah all that good stuff now the bad thing about this is it only goes up to 50 joules which hopefully they still get more updates for this SX 350J chip so hopefully we'll get more joules Definitely would be a plus. Degrees, Celsius, Fahrenheit, all that good stuff. Turn the system off. All relatively simple right there. Are you ready to exit? Back out and vape on it. Absolutely love the looks of this mod. Feels great in the hand tell it's made out of great quality I mean look at all that custom custom cutout it's just beautiful now it does not have battery venting so I don't know I, I haven't really had any problems out of that but I mean that might be a negative for some people and let's do a little size comparison here you go you got the XX land right there. Let's see here. Is a IPV 3LI. Not too bad. So it does have a little little size to it, but I love the little bevel, beveled edges here for your hands. Makes it really nice. So I mean, pop an RDA on this bad boy. We'll go back to FaceTime, vape on it, talk about it a little bit more. Alright guys, that was my up close of the Dual SX. Let me go over my pros and my cons. First, let's go over my cons. My cons are no battery venting, which to me, it's okay as long as nothing happens. And I've had this mod for about 
um, over a month now, so, I mean, I've been using it every day, so, I mean, I haven't had no problems, but that might be a con for some of you guys. Another huge con is the price point. I mean, $300 is a whole lot of money to just chuck out for a mod. I mean, that's like one of your... <sighs> Ooh, man, that's a rough budget there. Anyways, yeah, that price point's definitely a con. The pros of it are the SX350J chip in it. It's got dual battery, 18650 batteries. Great custom made box. I love the way it feels in your hand. It's just perfectly grooved. I do end up throwing my pinky underneath it for some reason. I don't I don't know why. I guess I'm scared to drop it. But anyways, I have been pretty rough on this mod and the paint job, I mean, it's lasted. And I haven't had no problems out of that. I haven't had no chipping problems. I haven't I don't think I've even of course I'm safe with my mods, I don't drop them, but I mean I do throw it around like whenever I'm at work I put it in the car or something like that. So I mean it's lasted, it's pretty good. Now another con another pro is that you get two day shipping. I know with that price point two day free two day shipping is like oh wow, but I guess it's a lot better than buying something from the UK and not getting it for a month later. I mean by then you done forgot it and like thirty other things have done come out that you want. So I mean that other than that, I really don't have all that much to bash on it about. Um, the only problem I do have is just the price point. I mean, that's just that's crazy to have to pay that much for a mod. But, anyways, that is my up close and personal of the Dual SX. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. I will be thinking about my. I want to do some e juice reviews, and I was wanting to get you guys' opinions on like a vape box or a sample box or some, something that you guys would like for me to review so if you could leave in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to go out and purchase these things so I can give you guys better reviews and things that you guys want to see I mean that's the most important thing is you as viewers and as long as you guys are off cigarettes I don't care if you're on an EpiPen I don't care if you're on any of that stuff just as long as you're not smoking and don't forget to always support your local vape shops and until then Y'all come back now, you hear?